This video is about an alternative launcher for Android phones. The launcher is called Niagara Launcher and I think it's especially useful for foldable phones like the Honor Magic V2 and in this video I want to tell you why I think this is a great launcher for foldable phones. Recently I did a video about all things people consider as shortcomings of the Honor Magic V2 and this video was focused on software. And some viewers were commenting under this video, hey, just use an alternative launcher like Nova Launcher for example and get rid of most of all the software quirks of Magic OS. But that's only half of the truth. So in general I love Nova Launcher and um, know it for a long time and used it for nearly all of my Android phones recently for the S23 and 24 Ultra. And I like it because it's very customizable, you can adjust every setting um, and, and that's great. But for foldable phones this launcher is not optimal and also many of the other um, launchers in the App Store are not optimal because they don't make use of the inner screen uh, real estate. So they don't offer a two column layout so to say. What they do is they stretch the front screen home uh, screen layout to accommodate the space on the inner screen. And this is not optimal in my in my view and I don't like it that I uh, don't have the um, option to configure two inner home screens. And this is where um, the Niagara launcher uh, comes into place and um, I want to show you why I think this launcher is quite nice also for foldable phones. So let's start with Nova Launcher and this is my home screen set up. I have set up a few icons and a widget, the, the Google Glance at a glance widget, also a second home screen with two widgets and this is how the home screen looks quite normal and you can configure it to your heart's liking with Nova Launcher options and settings. But now when I unfold the device you can see that the front screen layout gets stretched out, the icons become bigger, also the widget is stretched and also the search bar is stretched. And this is what I don't like, I have no option to configure the left and right part of the screen like um, I have in the proprietary launcher that comes with the device and also with other devices. And also on the second page also these two widgets get stretched to fill the whole screen and as far as I know I was not able to find an option where I can stop this behavior, where I can leave my icons on the left part of the screen and configure the right part of the screen in another way or how it normally is that the second screen on the home screen becomes the second screen on the foldable oops, sorry on the foldable screen so this is not possible now let's take a look how this is handled by Niagara launcher and I want to lose some words about this launcher because it's not really straightforward when you first install it and my advice is give it some time play around with it a little I installed this on my device and I almost immediately deleted it because this is a completely different approach to home screens than you know from most other launchers. So the basic idea behind Niagara Launcher is that you just have one page. This is your home screen and you don't have more home screens than this. The home screen is built up like this. You have a clock widget that also acts as um, a calendar widget, battery widget, stuff like this. You can configure this and this is also part of um, the paid version of the launcher. And then below that you have a list of or a list of apps of your favorite apps. And you can configure these apps by long pressing and then edit favorites and then add also more apps to your list. They recommend just eight apps so that they more or less fit on the screen and you don't have to do a lot of scrolling in your favorites because you might have noticed it already on the side here is an alphabetical strip and this is where all your apps are located and it's quite easy and fast to find apps because you can just swipe your finger and then stop at the letter where the app is located and then for example launch the app. You can also use the search box 
to search for apps and you can also search apps by swiping up on the home screen and you directly get into the search bar. What's nice is when you swipe down you directly get into the notification center and when you swipe left you are at the control center. And one main critique point of Honor Magic V2 software was that the swipe down cannot be configured and that swipe down always is universal search. With this launcher you have universal search by swiping up and by swiping down you see your notifications. So also this is quite nice. There's also another option where you can see notifications below your favorite app. So as you can see in case of Gmail I sent myself an email and the email notification is put directly under the name of the app. The same is true for example for for X, you can see that there is also in the media folder a notification. So I think this is also quite nice because with this launcher most of the times I don't need a notification center because I can access my notifications via my favorites menu. Um, speaking of the favorites menu, it's possible to configure apps that are put into the favorite menu but you can also use folders. So in this case I have a folder with health related app and apps and I also have a folder with social media apps and you can see that also the folder will display the notification so this is nice and when I open the folder I have the list of my apps that are in the folder and also the notification uh, is displayed beside or below the app that um, released notification. So in this case it's X and Ice Universe again tweeted. So um, this is also um, where I can view notifications. And I think this is a really nice approach and I also can access this notification when I click this arrow. So here is the notification. Yeah, Xiaomi 14 Ultra has been released so he wants to compare this with all the other flagships. And if I want to get rid of the notification, I can just swipe to dismiss it. The same is true for the email notification, then it's gone. Another nice option is this clock widget here. So this is a clock widget, calendar widget, battery widget and agenda widget all in one. And you, you can configure what this widget will show. And when you click on... Um, yeah, when you click on the clock, you can open the clock, of course, but when you click on the agenda, your agenda will open. It shows weather information and your agenda, and you can scroll through this to see all your calendar events. And you can also add a new event from this and do this always with your Google Calendar. So this is also quite nice because then I don't need to have a calendar widget anymore. I just can use this to display all my events. So a lot of options that are not so eminent when you first start using the launcher so this for sure takes some time to figure them all out. Then you are also able to use widgets with this launcher and they are always placed below the clock widget and above your favorite apps. In this case I have the tick tick widgets, the widget and also other widgets that are now swipeable. So this launcher also supports stackable widgets. So if I long press I can go to add custom widgets and then a list with all my apps that have widgets will open and I can add them to um, the widget stack and then I can swipe through my widgets. So also this is quite nice and I can also uh, move and resize the widgets however big I want them to have. The default size is this. I wanted it a little bit smaller and so this is also very easy. Then you have this button here and this button is customizable. At the moment this is my camera app button so I can quickly access my camera and when I swipe up I directly go into Google Photos and when you long press on it you can um, yeah, customize the settings. You can edit the tap action, edit the swipe action or just show a pro badge to uh, show that you <laughs> bought the pro version of this launcher. 
Then long press anywhere on the home screen, you can um, yeah, configure stuff uh, related to the icon you clicked on, but you can also always go into Niagara settings, change the look, app icon size, the theme, theme color, the fonts, everything like this. They also deliver some very nice wallpaper, so the wallpaper I'm using currently is also part of the wallpaper pack and they all um, are designed in a way that they harmonize quite nicely with uh, the launcher. And what I also wanted to mention is um, with looks, you have the option to use so-called anicons. Anicons are icons or icon packs that come with the launcher and you have several of them. At the moment I use the material one, so it's similar to material U and um, the apps change their color dependent on the wallpaper you use. And perhaps you can see that every icon, every single one is themed. So there are no icons that are not themed. And this is of course a problem with material U in general that some, mostly the, the Google system apps are um, themed and then there are also some uh, third-party apps that are not themed and this looks ugly when you have a home screen with themed and non-themed icons. And with these um, anicons every icon is themed and when the icon pack does not support the icon or doesn't have a customized icon for it, it will just display a generic icon so that every icon get, gets uh, themed. Of course you can also use an icon pack. For example, I have the flight light icon pack installed. This is also possible and you have this uh, pre-configured. And you can also edit icons individually um, for, yeah, for apps that have no icons. So this is also great. So as you can see, there are really a lot of options um, with this launcher and surprisingly so because you don't expect it when you first install it because it's so minimal and so different um, to other launchers. But now the magic happens when you unfold the device. So when you unfold it you can see that it changed in a way that it now supports two columns. Also you know, you're now able to display two widgets side by side but you can still scroll through your widgets you, you put in the widget bar. Um, but you have two and also the favorites get displayed in two columns and also your apps list is displayed in two columns. So it's much more easy to scroll through your apps because you have just more, sp uh, um, more space to display them. And this is why I think this launcher is also very suitable and also yeah, very nice for foldable phones when you like this minimalistic approach. I mean, it's completely different than other launchers, but I think the, the really big advantage of this launcher is that you that it's very quick. You don't have to swipe through home screens to find your apps. You have them all at your fingertips. And if you don't have an app, you can quickly search them via uh, the, the search box or via the, um, the, the strip. By the way, the strip is also available on the left side. So you can also swipe on the left side of the screen to scroll through your apps. And you can also hide the letters of the strip so that the home screen becomes even more minimal. But um, I quite like to have this um, here on the side. Gives the whole home screen layout a special touch. So I really would suggest if you are very unhappy with the built-in launcher of the Honor Magic V2 or also other phones and want to try something new and something fresh and something different, definitely give Niagara Launcher a try. It uh, takes some getting used to and they also uh, say give it seven days uh, because it will definitely grow on you. But then I think it's a really nice and different way to operate your Android phone. And that's it. That was my video about the Niagara Launcher on specifically the Honor Magic V2. Let's discuss in the comments how do you think about the Niagara launcher and do you use other launchers on your foldable phones or do you stick to the native manufacturer's launcher. I would be more than happy to welcome you in one of my next videos. Until then, take care and bye.